Robbie Farr, position one. Adrian Maher, position number two. Kelly Linigan from three. Grant Tunks from four. Bruce White from five. Car number 50, Martin Laws from six. The dash for cash. 460 metre clayway. PCR. Pace vehicle has left the circuit. We're ready to go racing. Will this be a first up dash win for our national champion? They pack it together and come to the start line and off they go with Robbie Farr getting the jump. And it was, oh, I thought he'd get away with it, but no, upside down and a big dump for uh, car number 10, Adrian Ma. And uh, it's rather prophetic that uh, Colin Farr, just a moment ago, he was saying he was having trouble coming to grips with uh, all the new safety gear in the car, but it certainly worked. He steps from the cockpit. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together by way of commiseration for Adrian Ma. Ready to go. Tunks on the outside, Farr on the inside. Again, Farr gets the jump. Are they going to let it go? No, they won't. Officials unhappy with Farr getting on the throttle just a little bit too early out of turn number four. Coming off the top turn. Four cars, six laps will be the journey. Farr gets a great start. So too does Law, straight up into second, but Tunks now starts to wind it up on the high side. Keep your eye on Grant Tunks in car 54. He runs in second. He's running much higher on the track now than Farr, and he's closing as they come out of turn number four. Four laps left, five laps left to run, sorry. It's still far. Far decides to go low. You can see the car digging in, throwing up large lumps of clay. We'll keep an eye on the times. Back to the home straight. Far's in front. Just seeing if uh, the tactic employed by Grant Tunks is the right one. He's getting momentum on the two-thirds line, but uh, it's uh, the far 36 that's starting to edge ahead and now looking comfortably in front with uh, the laps ticking away. Suggest so far now with a bit of free track in front of him, a bit of space. He'll probably experiment here and try a few different lines on the racetrack. He'll have two left to run this time around as he extends his lead over Tunks. Tunks' car is getting tight now as it Bicycling, digs in. Yep. Yeah, really fighting that machine, drops back to third. Laws has done a great job here. He was starting in position six. He heard him earlier when I talked to him. He said anything can happen, and it has. He's up in the second. Okay, the white lights are flashing. One to go. And... Uh... The Titan Garage's 36 car out of Queensland, driven by Robbie Thayer, has a full straightaway lead in the six-lap race and goes on to claim the $800 prize money for tonight's first heat. And here's Kelly Linnigan trying to reclaim third spot as they come to the wire. It's close and she gets there. Second place going to Martin Laws. Kelly Linnigan home for third. Just uh, looking down at your front suspension here, Robbie, there's a problem. Yeah, it looks like we're about to lose the right front arm, which uh, could have been a little bit scary around here tonight. Um, looks like we just got away with that. Car looked pretty good. I noticed you're running down low in the turns. Tunks tried the high line early, closed a little bit, but then you started to pull away. Yeah, I didn't know if it was the quickest down there, but I thought it could be more consistent down there. I, I didn't know what happened in the first corner with Adrian, but I figured he hit a rut and went for a ride. So, you know, just in the dash, we, you know, it features the main race that we're here for. So we just uh, thought if anyone's get past us, they're going to have to do it the hard way around the outside. What's going to be your plan for the feature? It's going to be tough. You guys obviously start back in the field. Yeah, we'll try and get to the front and stay there. Good answer. <laughs> Seriously, but I mean, the track's pretty hard to pass on tonight. Yeah, it will be definitely hard to pass. It's, um, we'll just uh, you know, try and get some cars early in the race, and then as, as they uh, spread out a little bit, just start trying to pick them off one by one. But there's a lot of guys going fast, and, and there's not a whole heap of racetrack out there that you can drive on. So it's going to make interesting uh, racing off the back. Just noticed, too, of course, that event was brought to us by Hoosier. You're right rear tyre there, brand new for that event. Still got the tits all on it. Obviously not getting any tyre wear whatsoever. No, you won't get any tyre wear tonight. And we, uh, it wouldn't really matter. We didn't really want to use a new tyre. It's just that we, we, we needed to get stagger. Um, so we, we, met, we rushed and mounted that just before the dash, which, you know, the car feels a lot better, a lot more drivable. So um, hopefully we can move around a bit on the track in the future. Best of luck. Thank you.